I'm Kelly Senye from JustToTaste.com. Homemade pie dough can be an incredibly daunting endeavor, but now when you turn to your food processor to do all of the work, and you remember this super simple three ingredient recipe, you're guaranteed to have perfect pie dough every time. All you have to remember is three, two, one. Three parts flour, two parts unsalted butter, and one part water. And I've weighed out all of my ingredients using the kitchen scale because anytime you bake, it's really important to be as accurate as possible. So that's 15 ounces flour, 10 ounces of unsalted butter, which I've cut into small cubes, and then five ounces of ice water. So because we're using the food processor to mix our pie dough, it's important to also use the dough blade. And this comes with most food processors. Um, it's not a metal blade, it's actually plastic. And this helps to aerate the dough and really make it come together in a really smooth texture. So I'm gonna add the dough blade to my food processor. And then I'm gonna add our all-purpose flour to the bowl of the food processor. And I'm also gonna add a pinch of salt. And this is for a savory pie crust, but if you wanted to make a sweeter pie dough, all you have to do is add two to three tablespoons of sugar at this point. Now I'm gonna add the top back onto my food processor. And I'm gonna blend these ingredients for about 15 seconds, and this just helps to aerate the flour and incorporate it with the salt. So now that we've pulled together our flour with the salt, I'm gonna add our cold unsalted butter. So now I'm gonna pulse the ingredients together until I get the consistency of wet sand. This looks great. So it's the consistency of wet sand and I can kind of put it together in my fingers here. And this is exactly what we're looking for. All of that fat has been incorporated into the flour. I'm gonna stream in the water about a tablespoon at a time through the top here. And you can see how quickly this dough starts to come together. So I'm gonna run it for about 15 more seconds just until it's into a nice cohesive ball. So now that the dough has come together in a ball, I'm gonna place it on a piece of plastic wrap. And I'm gonna flatten it into a disc and this just makes it a lot easier to roll out and cover it securely with plastic wrap. And then this is gonna go into your fridge for at least 30 minutes. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give all of the fat, all that great butter, a chance to re-firm up so that it's really easy to roll out. So I've turned my homemade pie dough into this gorgeous cherry pie with a lattice crust. But you could sub in any of your favorite fillings. It's as easy as three, two, one. I'm Kelly Senye. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out justatastes.com for more great recipes and tips.